Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of uh, Distant Pebbles, the best visual novel there is. Today we'll be uh, answering John's, uh, John's, John's deep questions about what we think about the Firefly or Fleming poultry. Sorry, I slipped up for a second. So, what do you think? It reminds me of home, but more cozy family in a way. Thinking back, it really is similar, but John seems closer to his friends than I ever was to anyone back home. Or, well, thinking a little more, maybe Julia would beg to differ. John looks at his watch and scratches the back of his head with his other hand. Mm -mm. If you want, we still have time to clean up here and then watch a movie. An Arctonian one? Or are you thinking of us joining Max and Geralt? I was thinking something more personal. <laughs> John moves close to you and puts his hand under your chin, pointing your face towards his. May I? Well, it's actually April. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You're single and he's interesting. Might as well see how it is. You quietly answer him. happened oh my okay. god not on my watch <laughs> that kiss belongs to me yeah he closes his eyes and his mouth touches yours it's a slow kiss his mustache tickles your lip a little but the feeling of his lips on your makes it up for it he had a mustache he doesn't have a mustache, he doesn't have a mustache no next update he's gonna have a porn stash <laughs> he's not touching you other than the hand under your chin and his lips on yours deliberately he kisses you again and again, taking new strength for every moment you connect. Level up, level up. <laughs> you all but melt into his kiss, being all but a passive recipient. With how intense he is, it feels like the right thing to do. It lasts for what feels like minutes, but in reality, probably is a lot less. Eventually, he releases you from the kiss. Your lips feel wet, and you feel a little colder having let go. Why did I taste butter? Oh no. You're a good kisser. That was nice. No regrets then? No regrets. Yet. So, the movie? How about you pick? I got a few in my library. He pauses, then adds, I'm sure there'll be something you like. Uh, in your words, lead the way. He scared me. What was the Rex again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? He's so goddamn creepy. He's just haunting us. He's just unwilling. He's just like looking at us through the air vent or something. He's just like... Mm. No <laughs> sex in the in marriage. The two of you clean up after yourselves. It was more than you'd imagined. Was there a saliva on the floor? What happened? Wait, weren't we preparing pizza? Oh yeah, that. Somehow, it feels like John had managed to get butter literally everywhere possible. Eventually, you find yourself in John's quarters. They're quite spacious. He seems to have it quite cozy, despite being fairly minimalistic. He shows you to a computer terminal and brings up what looks like a library of movies. Any recommendations? Any specific genre? Personally, any older action is up there. But it doesn't really seem like a good date option. This isn't like most days I've ever been to. Definitely not like with my ex. F I shouldn't compare this to that. It's not even remotely the same. He wasn't even in space. He wasn't even a badger. Right? He was not even an alien. He wasn't covered in butter. <laughs> Maybe I'm just getting ahead of myself because of how forward he always is. What do you think is a good date option then? I'm about to be annoying and say, go with your gut. Oh my god, that is very annoying actually. Just f***ing choose something if we don't know. Like, I don't know any... <laughs> <laughs> Unless you'd like to watch a though. Close your eyes, Munchie. They have p***s look they have at the, this. They have in your world. <laughs> you never miss a beat, do you? Actually, I, you know, I, I, I'd pay to watch some Arctonian Never mind. Pay? What? Oh, just go on the Arctonian internet. What? Do you think it. we have Arctonian <laughs> internet here? In our world? Arctonian 621. 
Oh no. A sixty one. You said uh huh, sorry. My line. <laughs> yeah, have it, take it. I didn't want it anyway. You said it doesn't bother you. But I get the feeling I might be a little too much. Mm, I don't completely know, honestly. You're very forward with what you want, and while it's not necessarily bad, it might get a tad much. It's also a bit weird. You put in very good words, MC, actually. Oh. Don't get me wrong, it's fun. The attention is nice, and... You're hot. Oh. What scares me a little is that, in my experience, a relationship built on sex doesn't ever get more intimate. But then again, we don't even know if we'd work like that, you know? And I'm having a lot of fun experiencing, well, you making pizza, watching movies, visiting your workshop. So it's a two-way street, so to say. I agree. Kind of. But I promise I don't intend to just be a horny machine. Can machines get horny? Do you mind if I record this? <laughs> it might seem like I have a one-track mind, but in reality, I think my mind just does everything at once. I'd like to be your best friend, and I'd like to indulge a few more carnal desires while we're at it. As a moment of silence, as you mull over things, it's true that your relationship with John has been on quite a direct path to something more direct. Direct path to something direct. I mean, he's pretty direct with it, I, I'll give it a pass. It's worth considering. Maybe I'll have to try it. I'll let you know if I figure out what I want. Great. Now, what movie did you pick? You think we picked a movie during that <laughs> we conversation? The <laughs> yeah, let's have the. Oh no, no. Uh -oh, sorry. No. <laughs> well, no. Sorry. How about? Your eyes glance over the titles until it sticks on one that has an enticing cover. It's a man that appears to be in deep thought, clutching what looks like a dog tag. Oh. She's snoring. She made a cute noise. Oh. gonna read the next line yeah sorry she's illiterate Ooh. for now for now we're gonna teach her yeah <laughs> the name seems to also fit well home seems to be an important concept for john well that and sex Th this one romance oh seriously place oh, to call the ah, oh, he oh did it. nice he said the line i love the it line. good choice romance Comedy and even some drama. Reading through the description some more, it even seems to be centered around male relationships. I don't remember. All gay. Munch is not fun of the gay. I'm I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember all of it, but I remember laughing and crying all at once while watching this one. You started up. I'll get everything comfortable. You look over your shoulder and see John preparing the couch in his room with blankets and a pillow to one side. Afterwards, he moves over to a panel on the wall and the ventilation slows down audibly. John sees you glance over. Hmm. Making the room a little warmer. Can't have you freezing for the entire movie. I'm gonna make you sweat. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically what he's doing though. <laughs> Well, I figured you could just hug me, and I could steal some of your warmth. With that, John pushes a few more buttons on the panel to the vents, pizza making a loud noise. I guess I pushed some buttons on him. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Play Among Us noise. Doom, 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 doom. Perfect. You let out a chuckle as he restores the ventilation to a slow and silent speed. WWRD. Am I invited to day tonight? Uh, no, we'll get the <laughs> no. f out of here. We're gonna f. You're turning your attention to the screen in front of you and you start the movie. The GUI asks for an output and you select what seems to be John's cabin from the list. 
John's phone of trouble, huh? That's just... <laughs> that just sounds... That's just... Okay. I... Yeah, okay. Seems like everyone has personalized names for their cabins. Except you. I've been here one day. <laughs> Some even seem freshly updated. Like the Zoomers Red Tree. <laughs> what the f*** is this? Oh my god. Max, Max is obviously. Yeah, Max is <laughs> As the movie starts, John pulls his shirt off and sits down next to you. Oh my god, it's gonna be spicy, guys. As you ponder whether to flirt a little or ignore it, he pulls up a blanket and throws it over your shoulders. Oh no, this scene. Oh. oh no. It's. Oh no, not the scene. The blanket is not over his shoulders, is it now? I'm sorry. Oh, this mean. Wait, well, was that Rex again? I think it was. Oop. That was interesting. Yeah, it was. He transformed from <laughs> Rex. It'll heat up in a bit. I'm just getting comfortable. It's not that cold, but with him giving you a show of his own, you're not about to tell him that. Like and once again, letting someone else pamper you once in a while is nice. The f**k's a pamper? She sounds like pampers. The <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't know what the pamper means? No. Oh god. John was right about the movie. While it might not have had the strongest start, within an hour, you've both laughed and been on the verge of tears. There's even an adult scene. You spot John glancing over at you as it plays. And once the movie reaches a heartfelt breaking point, John puts an arm around you and pulls you closer. He smells nice. Almost a little flowery. I swear to god, if you say lavender right now, I'm gonna pop off. I wonder what shampoo he uses. I bet he uses a lot of it, being that fuzzy. Maybe that's just how he smells? But then again, Actonians aren't that different from humans. Maybe if things keep going this way, I'll get to see him... Um, uh, um, <clears throat> I'll get to see him shower soon enough. Just for scientific purposes. <laughs> yeah, just to check you how know, he does it. Just to it, check how, how, how they do that. The shampooing. <laughs> Eyes emoji. I wonder if he'd be into that. But then again, he seems very open. How oh, does he open his back? Mm -hmm. As you come out of your daydream, you notice John looking at you. What are you thinking about? Should we change the movie? No, I was just blanking about a bit. Oh, the movie is great. It's really catching. It follows some story principles from movies back home. Our worlds are really similar. Sounds interesting. Like what? Chekhov's gun, for example. It's the idea that any specific element in a movie, such as a gun, has to be relevant to the plot. So the idea is that once a character shows that they have a gun, it must be used before the movie is over. The gun in this movie being the feral drug. It makes sense in a way. To make the story more approachable, I guess. Do you think it's a good way to tell a story? I like it, but being aware of the idea also makes me want it not to be irrelevant. I don't want to know the movie ends at the start, just because someone shows a gun or an idea. Although, if souls can be entangled with quantum entanglement, I wouldn't mind that. It means that there's someone out there just for me. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I'm confused. I don't think I mind being able to guess where this story goes. It might still surprise me. Hey. John looks you in the eye with a questioning look on his face. What's your sexual orientation? <laughs> <laughs> Not this again. Not the forms. Do you think the idea applies to attraction as well? As in, if the attraction is there, something must be done with it eventually. No. You can ignore it. You mean between you and I? <laughs> what a a great perfect example. example. If the idea applies to it, we should do something about it. Talk about it. Or, you know, just do it. Do it! John suddenly flexes his bicep for you. <laughs> Don't think I haven't seen you. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Say it! Don't think I haven't seen you check off these guns. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> you really never disappoint. 
<laughs> An intense question like that, and immediately one of the worst jokes I've ever heard. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Casual is good. I'm not sure I'm all that into casual sex. There we go, there goes the line. You know, casual sex implies the existence of competitive sex. I'd watch that. I'm just gonna have to let you guys know th this sentence here that's my influence right there. You can blame me for this one. He's right in the fact that there's nothing really stopping us from building a, a relationship and being open about sex. It's just a bit new to me. But then again... Sorry, I should stop. Even I know that this is a bit much and far too lewd. You shouldn't feel harassed by anybody here. Don't we, like, go with it? We do, somehow. It's basically our fault. No, that's not it. He's made it about as clear as day what his intentions are, and he's asking out loud. What's left to decide is if you're interested as he is, or if you'd rather take it slow, or even shut him down completely. No sex for you. Uh, would you like to get physical with John tonight? Why is this even a question? Be sure to uh, comment well, below, you. and when the next video, you'll see your choice. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna try to heavily censor it. Oh, f it. F you. No, that's fuck him. You. <laughs> you meant to think it, but apparently you said it out loud. Hey, I have a name. What I meant is, why not? I've done well with taking chances regarding you so far, and I like you. Then, allow me to take the lead. We're gonna go to a forest. I don't want I don't want a lead on me. I don't, I'm not into that. Can we cut it out? Can we not do the lead thing? You don't know what pamper is, but you know what a lead is. They have them in Minecraft. Okay. <laughs> With that, he leans in over you and puts one of his arms behind your back, pulling you down so you're laying on your back. He puts you down softly on the couch as he settles himself with one of his arms behind your head. His face right next to yours. He speaks softly in a deep husky voice. Musky husky voice. Just like this. His face descends on yours, his lips press against yours, softly. His lips part yours and his tongue softly dances on your own. The, the kiss is slow and filled with purpose. He's exploring you slowly, getting to know how you like to be kissed. Figuring out what makes you lean into him further and what doesn't. The kiss slows down and his lips come to rest on yours for a break. You stay like that, looking into each other's eyes and catching your breath. As your senses relax and you relax out of the kiss, you feel his, you feel his Bible against yours. Uh, <laughs> his hard cover <laughs> is just like yours after that kiss. I see you read the Gospel of John. And like this. His hand finds its way under your shirt, caressing your abdomen gently. His large hand is surprisingly warm and very gentle. He almost tickles you as he explores his way towards your chest. You let out a gasp as his fingers find one of your, um, your rosary beads and squeezes them gently. <laughs> this one's a Hail Mary. He chuckles a little and eases up. Looks like we're sensitive in similar blessings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, let's see then. John breaks out in a wide smile and removes his hand from under your shirt as his lips descend on yours once more. You move your hands up and put them towards his chest. He's fluffy and soft, but you can feel all the massive muscle on him. He lets out a satisfying grunt. Oh man, he just burped out a man. <laughs> As you gently touch one of his uh, rosary beads, yeah. As you release the kids, kids? No, please. Don't release the kids, please. Not yet. <laughs> just don't capture the kids in the first place. Leave the kids out of this. As you release the kiss once more, he moves his face back a little bit. <laughs> You know, releasing the kids is like a euphemism for right? Okay, I get it. Fine. <laughs> he moves oh his face God. back a little bit from yours and looks into your eyes. A smile is plastered all over his face and his eyes almost twinkle with... What? Twinkle with... 
Twinkle with what? What? You'll never know. <laughs> the f is he twinkling with? Grunt? Can twink? Cool. Twinkles with something as he looks at you. Now, may I? He moves his free hand down to grab the cover of your Bible through your book jacket. Oops. His touch is firm at first, but then softens as he realizes he needs to be gentle. And you can feel his desire as he slowly moves his hand along the surface of the book. Your first response gets out as nothing but an inaudible whisper, and you take a deep breath as he um, um, squeezes the spine of the book through the book jacket once more before you answer. Amen. Can you say that? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he squeezes the book cover again. His touch is firm but gentle. He's still being careful, aware of his size compared to yours. What's that? Mm, that's 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 my first chapter. Yes, sir. Sir, huh? Not quite what I'm after, but I'll take it for now. Okay. Yes, Jonathan. <laughs> so You'll we move to it? the book of Exodus. <laughs> the book of Exodus. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>